Hello friends, this is Ben and these are 15 different ways to fix your DaVinci Resolve rendering. I was working with one of my timelines and it took me about 5 days to research these 15 different ways to fix it. These are not in any particular order, so you're gonna have to try them out because every computer is different, every project is different, every timeline is different. So. Let's see what works for you. And if you stay tuned until the end of this video, I'm going to show you which one worked for me in my case. So let's go and start with number one. Number one, sometimes we accidentally hit the I key and a few frames later, we accidentally hit the O key, selecting a very tiny section of your timeline. So now when it's time to export your timeline, you either get an error message or you get a, a very tiny video file. So the way you want to fix that is you want to go back to your edit page, go to your mark menu and click on clear in and out. Now you should be able to go back to your deliver page and export your timeline without a problem. Number two, and this is related to fix number one. Sometimes we go to export our timeline and if we had an in and out point and under this render section, there's a drop down menu. And if we had in and out range selected, then you will end up exporting like a really tiny video file or a certain section of your timeline. So after you clear your in and out points, you want to make sure that this drop down menu on your delivered page has entire timeline selected. And then you should be able to export your timeline without the problem. Fix number three, you want to render your previews. So we want to select everything within inside your timeline with control or command A. Then you want to right click and click on render cache color output and then you want to right click on everything that is selected again go to the render cache fusion output sub menu and then check on the on position so now you want to go to your playback menu and you want to select render cache and you want to check on either user or smart so I'm going to check on user. I have checked. And as you can see, there is a little blue line that is going to pre-render the previews of my timeline. So you want to leave all this blue line to go all the way through to pre-render your entire timeline. Then you move to your deliver page. And in here, you should be able to export. And hopefully, that will be your fix. Fix number four. So if fix number three fail, what you want to do is go back to your timeline, make sure that your entire timeline has been pre-rendered. And you can tell if you have a solid blue line from the beginning to the end. And then you want to go to your deliver page. And in here, you want to play your entire timeline from the beginning to the very end. When that's done and you made sure that everything played correctly, you want to try render your file again. Fix number five is to create proxy files. So you want to go to your media page and then I want to show you an example. I have two video files here that do have proxy files and you can tell because I have a proxy media path and a proxy resolution. So now here's an example of a file, a video file that doesn't have a proxy file. So what you gotta do is you need to right click on it and then select generate proxy media. So now that's gonna take a little while depending how large is your original file. And when that's done, go ahead and give it a shot and see if you can render your timeline. Fix number six, go to your deliver page. And there is a little drop down menu here at the top. And you want to change that from prefer camera originals to prefer proxies. 
click on that and now try to render your timeline fix number seven you want to go to your davinci resolve menu and you want to click on preferences and then you want to click on the user button at the top there's a few options here the one you want to make sure it's unchecked is stop renders when a frame or clip cannot be processed so typically that is checked by default but you want to make sure you uncheck that then you want to click on save and now go ahead and try to render your timeline fix number eight you want to go to your deliver page and then go to advanced settings there's an option here called bypass re-encode when possible by default this option is typically unchecked so you want to check that and then you want to go and try to render your timeline if that doesn't work you want to go back there and uncheck that option and try to render your timeline again and hopefully one of those two will work fix number nine you want to go to your deliver page and you want to click on those three dots on the top right there is an option called update during renders so by default this option is turned to the on position and what happens is if that's on the frames on your monitor here are going to update every couple of frames and that takes more memory so what you want to do is click on those three dots go down to the updates during renders and then click on the off position so now go ahead and try to render your timeline see what happens fix number 10 you want to go to your edit page and within your timeline you want to hit Control or command a to select everything inside your timeline and you want to right click on it and go to the top option which is new compound clip so that's going to generate a new huge compound clip let's call this test and you want to create that and once when you have that huge compound clip uh, you want to go to your deliver page and try to render your timeline now if that doesn't work what you want to do is go back to your edit page right click on that huge compound clip and click on render cache color output and also you want to right click on your compound clip and make sure you click on render cache fusion output to the on position so you go then to playback and make sure that under render cache this is set to either smart or user in my case i typically use user and then go ahead to your deliver page and try to render your timeline again fix number 11 you want to go to your deliver page and there is a file button here on your left you want to click on it and there's a little section here called render speed and by default it's set to maximum so you want to change that to 75 percent and then you go ahead and try to render your timeline fix number 12 try different speeds so if 75 didn't work go back to your file button here on your deliver page and change the render speed from 75 to 50 and try to render your timeline if that doesn't work change it to 25 then to 10 5 2 and 1. see what happens see if changing to a different speed will let your computer render your timeline fix number 13 your power settings your screensaver settings you want to make sure they are not going to come up so you want to change turn off your screensaver and also there is a setting under energy saver which is called put hard disks to slip when possible you want to make sure you turn that off and another thing I use is an app called Amphetamine, which is, I believe, free on the App Store. Uh, and what it does is up here, you click on it, 
and you can start an indefinitely new session. So I typically click on that. I also want to make sure that when you click on this little icon, there's two more options after you started your session. And one is allow display to sleep. And the other one is allow screensaver after 15 minutes of inactivity. So make sure those are turned off like the way they are right now. And then after you change all those settings, go ahead, go back to your timeline and try to render it. Picks number 14, you want to disable all of your fusion effects one by one. For example, here in my timeline on this video track, I have this fusion effect. So I'm going to disable it and then you can go ahead and try to render your timeline. I know it's a lengthy process, but if you really want to find out what the problem is and if it's related to one of your fusion effects, you know, you want to try to disable each one of them and try to render afterwards. So let's say this wasn't a problem, so I'm, I can go back and re-enable that fusion effects, go to the next one, disable that one, and so on and so forth. So give it a try. If you try all of the other fixes and none of them work, this one may end up working. Fix number 15. Check for updates on your effects. For example, I am using this effect called Magic Animate version 3 by Mr. Alex Tech. And when I went and checked for updates on their website, I found out that, lo and behold, they have released an update to version 3.0.2. So you want to make sure you download the latest update and then you want to try to re-render your timeline and hopefully that'll fix your rendering problem. What was the problem for me? Well, for me, the problem was using that Magic Animate version 3 effects. So I really wanted to use a picture-in-picture -picture effect that comes with it. And that's why I insisted and I tried all these different things. So at the end, I said, well, what if I disable this effect? I did and I had no trouble rendering my timeline. So I had to go and find a different PAP effect, which I did. And then I rendered again and I had no problem. So if you are using an effect that you really want to use, but you are unable to render your timeline, unfortunately you will not be able to use it hey thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please let me know in the comments section below like subscribe and i hope to see you on my next video see ya